Wheeler. Doesn't like being pushed and shoved. Oh, down he went. I wouldn't do that, Ted, if I was you, because it's the wrong man to be pushing around. And this is the 11th kick to Wheeler. Kicks it down looking for Beasley. Giles with him. Over the back it goes, and you're pretty slow this time, was, was Gaunt. No, it was Big Crackers fighting for it. Puts Gray free. And he's penalised him. McPherson. Well, it's been a bad, bad day for Peter Keenan, too. As McPherson now in kicking range, and there's nine points the difference. With Melbourne in front, McPherson only about 30 metres from goal. Wind will favour him. Kicks it, but swings away a bit. And just tucks through for one behind. Eight points the difference. Melbourne in front. Twelve and a half minutes into the last quarter. Berry, great mark. He's played a fine last quarter. Played a good game all day, yeah. I reckon. No, he goes for the short pass. Templeton, right in front. What a player he is. Kelvin Templeton's kicked four goals. Crackers Keenan off. And Stuart McKenzie, who's a footballer, not a rower, comes on the ground. I uh, hope he is, anyhow. With Bill Berry uh, doing extremely well in the ruck. Templeton has it right in front, 30 metres from goal. It's close. It's home, and it's two points the difference. It's at a bounce. Let's see if McKenzie can do better. He does. Out past Dixon it goes. Dixon tackles. I'm just looking at a Melbourne player who's taken one in the person of Hutchison across the face. And the umpire comes in to bounce again. Crackers Keenan, I believe, may have the flu. It looks as though he's uh, showing the effects of it, sitting on the bench. Straight through goes Towns, up towards half forward, gathered well by uh, Knight. A little short pass. Oh, a crash of bodies there, just as Dunstan came in to take the mark. It's a 15-metre penalty, and this puts Dunstan right within kicking distance. Don't know about the 15 there, it was just a dead heat. If Dunstan can, in fact, take his kick, he is out. Yes, I'd say there's a little bit of evening up there, because it was Dunstan who crashed into... Wilson. Stephen Ick, who's had plenty to say all day, and look at Ian Dunstan's oh, face. Taken one, isn't he? Wow. Well, already. With much bad luck for Dunstan. That's a nasty one. And Kelvin Templeton's the man with the ball. He's such a beautiful kick. He's put them in front. No, touched touched on the line. Touched on the line. Well, what a thriller it's turned out to be as far as the scoreboard's concerned. Anyhow, one point the difference. Ian Dunstan goes off the ground. The kick in. Templeton again. Great mark. He plays on quickly. A lead by Beasley. Couldn't quite take it. Dixon's there, number 29. Dixon gets his kick out. Oh, it's close to the boundary line. Bounces out, fortunately, for Melbourne. And Ian Dunstan goes to the rooms. He'll go straight up the race. Dunstan gone, gee. His face badly distorted. Walpole replaces him. And in come the big fellows to contest the centre bounce again. McKenzie down, nicely sharked by McKenna. McKenna down the Beasley direction. And once again in the perfect position, takes the mark. A very acute angle. He's close in, but a very acute angle. That was his eighth mark. Simon Beasley has kicked six goals. This one would be his best performance in VFL football if he puts this one through. Close in he comes, shoots for goal. It looked pretty good to me, no, just missed. And the scoreboard is level. Templeton being a dominant player, his 21st kick. At centre wing position, chance for Wilson again. Nice hand pass out, back towards and centre half forward, but taken there by the man for the sleeves, McConnell. McConnell's kick, just over the wing. Towns knocks to the back. It's gathered well there by uh, 
O'Donnell. O'Brien. O'Brien, well up the ground, a full forward. Danger here. But well played on that occasion by McPherson, by McAllister. McAllister off to McKenna. McKenna downfield, great mark. Oh, almost taken by O'Brien. Good, strong battening football against him by McPherson. Here's a chance for Seddon. Melbourne have got lots of time. They don't do it very well. Seddon down straight to number 13. The opposition comp takes the mark. Both these teams pretty tired. Comps are on a long way, and he goes to the outer side of the ground. Intercepted by Brian Wilson. It was a very quiet player for three quarters, but could win the game in the last term. Wilson's kick for goal misses, but puts the Demons in front. Well, it's full marks to Brian Wilson. He's played like a champion when the sides need him these last few moments. McAllister comes in. Out wide, Berry's got a wonderful chance to take another mark, can't hold it. Jim Edmund fights for it, held, ball's underneath him. And he's been penalised. He was over the top of the ball and technically in possession. And thus the free kick will go to Melbourne. Driven up by O'Sullivan right towards the goal square, it's been touched. Wheeler on the line. Runs it through, finishes up with the behind <laughs> and signals the behind Terry Wheeler. <laughs> well, I suppose it's no laughing matter for Footscray because they're now two points down. He's doing the lot, he's scoring as well. Now it goes to McAllister again, straight down towards Flower in the play. And this is where he should be, somewhere around the centre of the ground. Boots it downfield looking for Jackson and Healy. Jackson in front, punches it up high, hit cleverly away, taken by Comp again. Goes for a short pass. He's short passed beautifully. He found Towns in the centre. Towns then kicks it downfield. It should have been taken by Wilson. Picked up there by McPherson. Over Templeton's head, but here comes Simon Beasley. Beasley turns and will steady to an open goal. Shoots and puts it just wide. Beautifully taken by Christensen and puts it through. Puts Gray have taken the front at the 22-minute mark in the final turn. Puts Gray lead by four points at the 23-minute mark in the last quarter. McKenna, number 34, breaks out of the centre. Passes right to the forward line. Through Christensen it goes. Giles under pressure from Beasley. Giles with good pace. Sweeps the hand pass up the ground. O'Donnell. Over the top he goes, looking for O'Brien. Knocked out of the air by an opponent. Picked up by Ick. Unmarked on centre wing is Fidge. To half forward, Flower. Flower is too far out to score, I think. He tries to find Jackson, and when it's one on one, Jackson didn't look like it. Behind Healy, in trouble, tries to give it to Catagio, screws it back straight to Melbourne's Connolly. Straight to Connolly, and that was very lucky, but in the right place at the right time. He's had a pretty quiet game as young Chris Connolly. It's his 14th kick. And he comes in with the team trailing by four points. He's at point blank range. And we're just approaching the 24 minute mark in the final turn. And he puts it through. <laughs> 24 and a half minutes gone. McKenna loses it to Wilson. Good tackle. Wilson's hand pass then under pressure. Cordy, number 29, slips a tackle, burst clear, one-on-one, -on -one, Beasley and Giles. Beasley keeps his footing. Free kick has been paid to Giles. <laughs> that is a vital free kick. Well, the only thing we can say in his defence, Giles is in front position, kicks it beautifully downfield. Taken by Hutchison. Took a heavy one as he took it. Greg Hutchison's about centre-half back and the Demons are leading by two points. He sends down looking for Flower. Flower the leaper. Oh, beautiful. Captain courageous and captain skillful takes a magnificent mark. <coughs> Flower drives down, giving Jackson a chance once again for front position. Well played, McAllister. Loses it. Jackson! Oh, kicks it atrociously. 
kicked it atrociously. And Melbourne still lead by two points. <laughs> well, four more minutes were played, but there was no further score, and Melbourne ran out winners by two points. They kicked less goals than Footscray, but had more scoring shots. Melbourne had led by 28 points at half-time, but Footscray fought back to trail by only three points at three-quarter time after Footscray had failed to score at all in the second quarter. Good day for the forwards. For Melbourne, Jackson kicked five goals, Flower and Healy each kicked two, and for Footscray, Beasley got six and Templeton five, so they got 11 out of Footscray's 14 goals.